And welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, cells and zebras, gypsies and the sheep. So I tried to make this video, I've tried to make it a couple of times. And um, uh, I don't have enough space in my hard drive, so I had to delete some stuff I didn't want to delete. But it turns out I had like 81 files of uh, Great Expectations audiobook. 81 files, who needs that many? And, it, and I'm not done deleting those yet. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so um, we uh, cleaned out the, oh, I didn't finish, but we uh, spent a few hours down in the basement, and we just have a little corner, just like about two-thirds of the size of the, the kitchen that we haven't gone through. Everything else we've gone through, we've got, the, the landlord let us use his uh, trailer, and boy, we loaded that up. And, um, yeah, there are probably some things I didn't want to get rid of, but, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm hungry. She's hungry. Tonight, it's looking like a can of spaghetti with meatballs. Ugh. Somehow, we, we obtained a can of, it's not supposed to do that to my neck, of Campbell's Chunky Clam Chowder, and neither one of us eat clams and neither one of us therefore eats clam chowder. Chowder. Come up here the chowder. Um and in Texas y'all all in Texas oil is pronounced A L L all got them all rigs down there and the is duh. Anyway I'm not gonna get into that um, reckon, howdy, um, I don't know, anyway, crawdads, um, we use, we call them crawdads, I always knew them as crawdads, what, oh, crawdads, up here, there aren't that many left, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not a, mm, I shouldn't say I'm not a fan or am a fan of crawdad because, well, see, that's the thing, honey, it depends. Uh, there's a, there's a, a Cajun restaurant, there's a Kunas restaurant. For those who don't know what a Kunas is, a Kunas is a Cajun. And Cajuns call themselves Kunases. You know, I went to, to school with some Kunases. Still talking to uh, one, at least one of them. Well, all it is is a Cajun, and they call themselves that. Yeah, that. Oh. But um, anyway, um, there's this here uh, Cajun restaurant in San Antonio. I forget the name of it, it was really good. And um, I ordered quad ads once, I wanted to see what they tasted like. Oh boy, they were muddy. Oh, they tasted muddy. Um, but then, later on, I don't know why, but I ordered crawdads a second time. Well, they had stopped just to, if you take crawdads right out of the, out of the water, they are going to be muddy. They're going to taste muddy. But if you take them and you put them in, um, like a, a container of some sort with fresh water and like cornmeal then that helps to flush them out and then they taste good but for those who've never had a crawdad or never watched someone eat a crawdad you take the crawdad you take the head from the tail you suck the the head out throw that away then you open the tail up and eat the meat and so now Maggie's what? Yeah, everything else is too small. Except for the head. You suck the everything out of the head. Yeah. So Maggie's down on the bottom shelf of the, the kitchen rack. Anyway, so uh what? I want um, but I don't think I'll do it. so look, I haven't I'm not on Facebook anymore even though I just looked something up and it came up with a Facebook page, so I'm gonna share that. But I don't have an account. So anyway. Well. Tonight. 
I don't know what we're going to eat or tomorrow because we missed going to Helping Hands to get our weekly food box. And, and the reason was because we were down in the basement with the landlord cleaning, sorting, organizing. And that took several hours. I mean, I just couldn't do it anymore. I mean, physically, I just could not do it anymore. Um, but it helped wake me up, that's for sure. Anyway, yeah, so, look, I don't want to eat a can of spaghettis with meatballs, ugh. Neither one of us wants that can of clam chowder, I guess we'll give that to the kids. So, and I can't do this on Facebook because I'm not on Facebook anymore. And so YouTube is really the only way I can do it. So, if anyone would be so kind. If somebody would be willing <clears throat> to get us something to eat, we would deeply appreciate it. Um, a Pepsi, uh, a root beer, either one of those would be good. The larger the better, of course. Thank you. Um, I just love the, the mix of the carbonation, the sugar, the... Uh, caffeine and, and caramel and all, all that that's in a in uh, soda water. Well, I call it soda water. It's a Texas thing. Um, you know, you call it Coke or Pepsi or RC, but soda water is the that's what soda water is. When you say, "Yeah, get me a soda water," it's a RC, probably an RC, but it could be a Coke or a Pepsi. Anyway, so. Uh, a pizza is an option. I mean, that, that's a possibility. I'll provide a link to two places. One place I'd have to drive up to, but it takes like 30 seconds to drive over there. Maybe 15 seconds to drive over there. The other place will deliver, but the place here in town doesn't deliver anymore. Not that I know of. But the place... Uh, I don't think the other place delivers Oh, I'm willing to wait for a pizza till after five. I'll even drive down there to go get it. It doesn't have to be a pizza. It could be uh, some chef salads. What kind of dressing would you like? Ranch. ranch. Double ranch for her. Double blue cheese for me. Um, but preferably either a pizza or a grinder. For me, I'd like a large steak bomb. Boy, that sounds really good right now. And the wife... She would like a cheesesteak. They're very similar. There's, there's very little difference in them, except the steak bomb has jalapenos on it. Mmm, yum. With a pizza, like a, a large supreme with half... Well, just pepperoni, because that would be cheaper. Okay, half pepperoni, if that's cheaper, with half jalapeno. Because we'll eat, believe me, we'll eat a pepperoni pizza. We're not going to turn food down at this point. We just, you know, we forgot about going to Helping Hands because we were in the basement cleaning and our, our mind was focused on, you know, the work we were doing and, and the landlord and everything. So, anyway, I'll provide links to these places. Um, I mean, it would be really appreciated. I'd really appreciate it. We would really appreciate it. And, of course, maybe one day we could do something for you. I don't know. I mean, depending on who you are, where you are, what we can do would depend. But anyway, let us know. Um, thank you, and have a great day. From, oh, if you're going to have it delivered, it would be to 10, 10, 10 Dustin Street, D-U-S-T-I-N, S-T-R-E-E-T, -E -E apartment numero uno, that is apartment number one. I was about to say San Antonio. Troy, New Hampshire. Troy, New Hampshire. Not San Antonio, Texas, but Troy, <laughs> New Hampshire. Get out, get out. Um, but I'll provide that in, in, in the links. So, with the links. Anyway, bye.